All right, in this video, I'm going to do another example of finding all the asymptotes of a function. So here we have f of x equals x cubed minus 64 over x squared minus 16. Again, a couple different ways to do these. Um, at least for the vertical asymptotes, the first thing I'm going to do, usually the way I do them, is I figure out what makes the denominator equal 0. Well, OK, so I just take the denominator, set it equal to 0. Um, I can add 16 to both sides, take the square root of both sides, and that would give me x equals positive and negative 4. And again, these aren't necessarily vertical asymptotes yet, because um, if we get 0 over 0, that just tells us it's a whole. If we get something non-zero over 0, we'll get a vertical asymptote. So I'm just going to plug them both in and see what happens. So if I plug 4, uh, I would get 4 cubed, which is 64. On the bottom, we know uh, 4 squared minus 16 is 0. So we are getting 0 over 0. And that tells me at x equals 4, there's just a hole in the graph. OK, so no vertical asymptote there. At negative 4, though, if we take negative 4 and cube it, we'll get negative 64. And the denominator, again, we'll get 0. Well, that's negative 128 over 0. That's definitely something non-zero over 0. So that tells me at x equals negative 4, um, there is going to be a vertical asymptote. OK, so one vertical asymptote. Um, remember, for horizontal asymptotes, it, remember if the degree of the numerator is larger than the degree of the denominator, as in this case, if the degree of the numerator is bigger than the degree of the denominator, that just simply tells me that there are no horizontal asymptotes. OK, well, that was easy enough. Um, however, remember, if the degree of the numerator is one larger than the denominator, there are oblique asymptotes. OK, so um, we could start trying to factor and cancel to reduce this a little bit. Um, I'm just going to do long division on it the way it is. Uh, notice we could write the numerator as 1x cubed um, plus 0x squared plus 0x minus 64. We're dividing by x squared. I'm going to fill in 0x minus 16. And now I'm just going to do my long division to find the equation of the oblique asymptote. So I think x, I'm basically just looking again at the highest powers. So I'm thinking x squared times what is x cubed? Well, I think we would need an extra x. Then I distribute this to everybody. So uh, we would have x cubed. We would still have 0x squared. x times negative 16 would be negative 16x. I subtract everything. The x cubes cancel. There's no x squareds. It looks like we would get a positive um, 16x. And then we could just simply drop down our negative 64. Whoops, I'm still looking at 16s there. Um, so we have 16x minus 64. And again, we stop doing long division when our remainder has less degree um, than what we're dividing by. So it says, really, we could write our original function, x cubed minus 64 over x squared minus 16. We could write that as x, and then we could state our remainder as this. Or we can simply write it as uh, 16x minus 64 over x squared minus 16. Um, and at this point, we now have the equation of our asymptote. Again, we basically just disregard the remainder. Whatever's out front, this is going to be our, our asymptote. So in this case, um, we're simply going to have an oblique asymptote. Or equivalently, you can just look at the top of your long division before you, know, before you stop. Our, our oblique asymptote will be the line y equals x plus 0. So the y-intercept is simply 0. But if we usually never write it that way. So we would just say the oblique asymptote here is the line y equals x.